Hello again. I gotta cut up. So, we're just talking about, almost done, we're just talking about the biocomputer. So the biocomputer, when he refers to it in this lovely book, Handbook to Higher Consciousness by Ken Keyes Jr., the biocomputer with which you are equipped, he's talking about the human brain, the mind, our center or seat of consciousness. So here we are, continuing with that part. The biocomputer with which you are equipped is the most remarkable instrument in the universe. Your only problem is to learn to use it properly. It is capable of handling 2 million visual inputs and 100,000 auditory inputs at any one time. Your biocomputer operates continually throughout all of its parts and is capable of making millions of simultaneous computations. It operates with enormous power, primarily on unconscious levels, with only a tiny proportion of its activity rising to the level of consciousness. All those things that you do automatically, breathing, swallowing, all of the making your heart beat, all of that stuff that you're capable of doing with your system, your organism, the full body perhaps, all the systems of the body, the major systems, that automatically function and flow. They're on the wave of higher consciousness because they're automatic and they're not in resistance. The small portion which we've been permitted to be conscious or like uh, under our control, under that realm of free will, if you if you just look at that proportion you can see kind of that God-given balance of things, how much of our, our operation of our day-to-day -day being is manifested through automatic and on that stream of higher consciousness versus what we're allowed to control is very small in comparison because you know you were supposed to have this experience we're supposed to make our choices and everything but they know uh, when, when you're in the seat you know you, if you're not actively focusing on this stuff and pulling from your past experiences and learning lessons if the stove is hot don't keep putting your hand on the flame if you're if you're in opposition to those things we can't let you have full complete control of your biocomputer because you're gonna you're gonna kill yourself essentially you're gonna harm yourself I should say to be more tactful I apologize you're going to need to learn from the larger portion of yourself which operates in harmony and flow rather than being in opposition and resistance just for the sake of doing it. So many of us rebel without a cause, that's the perfect example. You just want to oppose things just for the sake of opposing them. I was thinking back on even what I was saying. Even, even this is to tell someone a way to think, correct? In the beginning I was saying that there's those people that write in the, in the review boards and they want to tell you oh yeah, there's, here's my opinion, here's why you're wrong, here's where, you know, you haven't surprised me or impressed me or shocked me with anything that you've said. Well, that, as much as they're trying to impose their perspective, I'm equally trying to impose a perspective on you, right? Right now, in the reverse. Wrong. There's some people that would take that stance. Yeah, you're, you're telling me how to think too. That's incorrect. I'm not telling you how to think, I'm telling you how to thrive. This is not refutable. Just that's that's the reason why a debate like that is trivial because it's 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 non it doesn't add to anything it doesn't build anything except for possibly someone who takes a critique and says okay well maybe I'll polish this that's the only purpose that serves in a critique or an analysis of something is to sharpen it and make it better but people who spew that out for the sake of doing it or judge others just for the sake of doing it it's, it's not for growth, right? where these teachings, like I said, however unoriginal or unimpressive they may be to someone who's heard it all before, seen it all before, this stuff works. It's set to align the smaller portion of your being, your open consciousness, to the realm of the unconscious, which is flowing natural and in harmony helping you to get in alignment 100% of yourself so your whole life can unfold magically. So you can unlock your gifts. So you can unlock resources to elevate yourself. It's saying, hey, 100,000 years, 
A hundred thousand years of lessons have been learned. It's all been put in the books before by the men who've gone before you. We've already struggled through war. We've already struggled through famine and disease. We've already would ha seen what happens when people turn against each other based on the color of their skin. Hey, we've already seen what would happen if we let one sex dominate the other and then, oh, let's not flip it all the way to the other end because, you know, we're, we're not, it's not balanced. It's like, hey, all this stuff is right here in front of us. Stop trying to... Uh, stop using your free will to ignore universal truth. That's all this is saying. So this is not so much infringing a perspective on you because it's not up for debate. What it's saying is, time's up. It's time to get it now. You've, you've been given long enough to play around and now things have gotten real. It's 2020, clear vision, clarity. Let's get in, a, in alignment with the truth. It's not up for debate. So the biocomputer, that was a long rant. I apologize, but I only have one page left. So I felt confident that the camera's not gonna shut off on me. If it does whatever, I'll make a part three. That was important for somebody. Somebody needed to know that. Somebody down the line will need to know that. The biocomputer with which you are equipped is the most remarkable instrument in the universe. Your only problem is to learn to use it properly. It is capable of handling 2 million visual inputs and 100,000 auditory inputs at any one time. Your biocomputer operates continually throughout all of its parts and is capable of making millions of simultaneous computations. It operates with enormous power, primarily on unconscious levels, with only a tiny proportion of its activity rising to the level of consciousness. The conscious level of your biocomputer is analogous to the printout of the man-made computers. Your journey into higher consciousness is a matter of your learning how to properly program your remarkable biocomputer. When you really learn to operate your exquisite mechanism, you will be able to fully realize your potential for a happy life. A wonderful thing about life is that it is naturally good. Life is set up to work, to produce love, fulfillment, and happiness continuously. However, Various situations during your first years of life condition, conditioned you in the methods of consciousness which continually generate unhappiness in your life. It's not your fault. You didn't know better. You were programmed. Now you have control. Use your free will to, unbreak, to undo the programming and unleash your potential. Choose something different. Choose happy. Yeah, 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 I get it. Everything has been bad. You've got this reason, you've got this reason to distrust this person. Your heart's been broken by that person. You've been um, turned down for every position. I get it, right. You're preaching the past. But what about now, in this moment, where you can choose to do something differently? Forget about what happened before. You're not prisoner to your past unless you decide to be so. Rise in consciousness. Yet every current experience can aid you in your growth toward higher consciousness if you know how to use it. I just need to stop talking because the book is, is, is saying this all perfectly. <laughs> this handbook will explain how you have been creating the experiences that you have. It will show you exactly what to do to break out of the traps in your mind that are the cause of all the unhappiness that you have experienced in your life. When you apply the methods in the handbook, you will be able to turn your life around. The continuous experience of love, serenity, happiness, joy, effectiveness, perceptiveness, and wisdom that you have had only in bits and pieces can now be available to you all of the time. You will learn how to experience the world as a friendly, loving place that has been designed to give you everything that you need. You will develop a miraculous quality in your life Beautiful things will happen so continuously that you can no longer ascribe it to mere coincidence. You will experience that you can create more love, happiness, and serenity than you need for living a thoroughly fulfilled and enjoyable life. While this was certainly not your intention, you will become aware of how you have been turning yourself off to the energies of the world around you. Your mind has been programmed to process incoming visual, auditory, and other information in ways that continuously alienate and separate you from people. 
you will realize that you have been unconscious of what you have been doing to yourself. It is as though you have been born with eyes that see only with great distortion, but which give the illusion of seeing sharply and clearly. Wow. This handbook will help you become aware that the only real problem in your life involves how consciously you use your mind, and it gives you clear instructions for carrying out the inner work necessary to become an energetic, perceptive, loving being. See that inner work? We just did the inner work together. Living love is a positive cure for all of the suffering and unhappiness in your life and that of all humanity. The Living Love Way offers mankind one of the most powerful tools for emerging victorious in the race between higher consciousness and the suffering of atomic annihilation, ecological degradation, prejudice, and the thousandfold ways we separate ourselves from each other. And then we get a beautiful little image of these birds flying away. Yes, birds fly high of it all. So that's the foreword of Ken Keyes Jr.'s book, The Handbook to Higher Consciousness. I absolutely love this book and highly recommend it. Thanks for watching. Take care.